Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here. Welcome back to Humanities United Martial Arts Network, otherwise known as Human. Joined again by Marcus Koval. What's up? What's going on, sir? How are you? This is a good one today. It's a really good one. I'm really excited about it. We have someone that no one in the fight community has ever heard of. Yeah, yeah. And But hopefully we'll, we'll be able to answer a lot of questions that many of us have concerning brain trauma, concerning, concerning CTE, concerning fighting and just how dangerous it really is. We have doc, Dr. Martin Mortazavi here today. Sir, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Leading expert in many areas of neuroscience and uh, uh, I've seen some of the work that you have done. If you get a chance, go watch some of the YouTube videos that he's made on surgeries that have never been done before. You're yeah. a leading uh, pioneer in your field in many ways. Well, that is not for me to say. <laughs> he's humble. Just like a martial artist. So, I know I have three areas I want to speak about. So I'll, I'll let you start first because we could say it for six hours otherwise. Yeah. So I th and, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I want to structure this. But let me let me start by saying this because I know boxing, martial arts, MMA are very dangerous sports, right? No one's arguing that. Can you explain to me what happens to the brain and to the body? When someone gets knocked out, when someone takes a big punch or a big kick, what exactly happens that causes a person to lose consciousness? Yes. So consciousness is a function of uh, multiple areas in the brain uh, being connected to each other. And uh, this is, uh, there, is a, there's, there is a system inside the brain called the reticular activating system and arousal system. And that makes us being awake. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's deep in the brain, in the central parts of the midbrain, and uh, and also down to the brainstem. Uh, then we have the entire brain <coughs> protected by the cranium, which is the thick bone, and uh, the brain itself is uh, is about three pounds. Uh, Seventy percent is made of water, and uh, in order for this uh, brain to not being damaged and hit the inner side of the cranium every time we walk and move our heads mm -hmm. it's uh, contained in a sac called dura dura mater and then inside the sac there is a fluid csf cerebrospinal fluid so this is the biomechanics of brain very high equity neurons they are sitting in this super super tight bone and then uh, the the water around it absorbs the pressure and obviously gives nu nutrients to the brain as well uh, now, once you get trauma, what happens is that um, either you get a bleeding that pushes the brain or the brain accelerates and decelerates within the skull. Sometimes we have patients coming in and say, oh, I hit my this part of the uh, head, but the bleeding and problems and contusions and bruises are in this side. Right. And there is a term called coup and contra coup. This coup is a French word C-O-U-P. And then, so it's, and then it becomes uh, Americanized over, over history. So coup is the, 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 the side you, you hit, and counter coup is where you get the bruising and bleeding in the brain. So uh, si to simplify this, basically you can have a, a bleeding at the site of the injury, or you can have a, an injury on the other side of the brain, and that's uh, because of the acceleration and de deceleration of the brain within the cranium because the cranium with the skin above it hits something but the brain moves so you see this is the uh, brain this is the cranium and then once that you hit here it becomes like this and comes back and hits this part okay right makes sense yeah now you can have different types of injuries once whatever whether it is a bleeding or a contusion means uh, bruising of the brain um, uh, you can have injury of the neural bodies themselves which is the neuron because neuron is like, like a body and then it has multiple connections called dendrites and it has one major connection which is called the axon which in the layman language is the nerve that's the white thing so the nerve that you see there are like thousands and tens of thousands of these axons together bundled together but the nerve body is somewhere else so you can have an injury to the body of the uh, nerve neuron or you can have the axonal injury. That's why you can have a disease called diffuse axonal injury, which is actually not unusual in younger uh, uh, trauma population, when there are no big 
uh, bleedings or contusions or brain bruises, but there are small bleedings and they have uh, diminished neurological uh, uh, function. Okay, is that common in boxing or, or kickboxing? In for any example? in any in any sport where you have an acceleration and deceleration of the of the of the brain. So then, when you do get hit, like 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 Shane said, when you do get hit and the person you see them on when you watch them and they go lifeless, right? What is it that actually causes the, the knockout? That, that's what causes the knockout. But what happens to the brain when it shuts off, so to speak? Yeah, and, so, and w I'm sorry, but and why? Like, what, what's, is, is it just a fault in the human body? But what's, what positive happens because the body shuts so, down? So first we need to step back and see what life is about. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, so life is about, it's an electrochemical reaction. Okay. So, uh, and then once this electrochemical reaction happens, functions happen. And if the electrochemical reaction is in the heart, the heart beats. If the electrochemical reaction is in the brain, then we can, that part of the brain that is taking care of our speech makes us being able to talk. And if that part that makes us being able to analyze and think, then we think. And the other part that is involving the reticular activating system, then we are aroused and, and awake. And uh, what is this electro electrochemical reaction is that there are along every cell there are channels of sodium and potassium and once they open and close there is an action potential and the action potential causes these neurons to to um, feed other neurons with different neurotransmitters and that is life hmm. <laughs> when you put it with 20 billion neurons it becomes life so anytime this function is disrupted then the functions related to those cells are disrupted so now you can have Let's say somebody is knocked out in a boxing match, okay? You can have a big bleeding. The bleeding increases the pressure in the brain, so no blood flow comes to the brain. The brain gets knocked out. Or they can have diffuse axonal injury. There is not a major bleeding, but this shearing forces with acceleration and deceleration makes these axons to completely disrupt. Result is the same because the connection is, is disrupted. Mm. And then if the connection is disrupted in the reticular activating system or the pressure is so high, so no blood flow comes from the neck to the brain, so you don't get nutrients and oxygen. So again, the function goes down, so circulation is disrupted. The effect is the same. Either you have an organic injury, which means the cells are disrupted, or because of the mass occupying lesion, like a bleeding inside the cranium, pressure inside the cranium goes up so the blood flow cannot get into the brain then you get an ischemic problem so and then you get a stroke mm -hmm. one thing i can say that we can for now add to the armamentarium of uh, this kind of sports is to have mobile uh, head cities by the boxing there are now mobile cities it's not a huge machine it's just like a little machine that you can 500 pounds uh, with on wheels how long does it take to do the ct scan 20 seconds oh and oh. to see the image too yeah right away so and you then, and yeah. it, but it must be expensive right no about half a million dollars i mean uh, if you it's are spending uh, 50 <laughs> 60 million dollars yeah, uh, on this yeah. right right and you have half a million dollars there are different models between half a million dollars and eight hundred thousand dollars and uh, but the smallest one i think is half a million dollar and uh, it, you just move it around and then the minute they have a problem they can stop the the game do a 20 second CT, and if there is a bleeding, mm. that's it. Go to hospital. Whoa. I think they will. Uh, Do you think he would have been alive still if that was available? Uh, I think so. Wow. Yeah, to think wow. about how many lives would be saved, fighter safety. In because there are mind. physicians there. Um, obviously, on the when I was reading this uh, about Mr. Dadashev, uh, and because of the symptoms that he was saying, I, I, I knew where this problem w was even before. He got operated. Uh, whether it's a contusion or subdural, that's another thing. You you know it when you open it up. But uh, uh, I'm pretty sure he got a CAT scan before surgery. But imagine if you have a CAT scan right when he says, "Oh, I'm losing it." You do you stop the game, do a CAT scan, and if you see bleeding, you don't let him go to round eleven. No. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because now you have a, an objective evidence that there is something inside the brain, and it's safer for 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 the wow. for the sportsman. Yeah. Would you say that getting choked on, or being strangled unconscious is less dangerous? Or no, no, equally dangerous. No, equally dangerous. Uh, maybe actually is more dangerous. Why? Uh, 